Hey guys, it's Bats here. I wanted to thank you for clicking on the video today. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And then we can bring you more quality content, tips and tricks that will help you get to Shark Reef here a lot faster. Starting the Mandalay Bay Shark Reef Tour. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty dope. Yeah, it's warm. It's warm and beautiful. Here's the beauty. <laughs> All right, so we're, oh, we're starting off strong. Golden crocodile. Okay, he's chilling at the bottom of the lake. Love the architecture here. Super, oh wow, they got Komodo dragons too. Nice. What's up? Is he? Is it coming? All right, let's get closer. Oh, he's hiding like perfectly. He's at the very bottom. I see him now. He's just chilling at the very bottom over here. There he is. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, that's a reflection. It's just the one. Yeah, so she's down here. Okay. Bottom. Very easy to answer. Ah. Chill kids, huh? Interesting. Very nice. And the Komodo dragon right there. The reflection makes it look like he's on fire, but he's not actually. That's just a reflection of light, thankfully. Looks really bad on the camera. Or, actually might be on fire, it is a dragon after all. Very nice. So there's a young lady, you might be able to hear her. Um, we're going into the cave right now, and she's quite displeased about it. I don't recognize the language that they're speaking, but if it's anything like my little girl, she's quite scared of the sharks. But she's going, it sounds like she's going to be brave now. Yeah. So, oh, I guess there's a river turtle in here. And arowana, the good luck fish. Oh, I didn't even, I wasn't even looking at the architecture. I'm so excited about the animals. Yeah. Hmm. Burmese or regular? Um, Burmese. Burmese. Nice. Oh, what? Hold up. Let's check this out. Okay, so we just came through the Golden Crocodile. There's a touch pool, a shipwreck, there's more sharks later. Caribbean reef fish, piranhas, and we are in the middle of Amazonian predators. Okay. Oh, it's Amazon Predator. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Looks like it. I think it's Portuguese, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'll grow any human. So we can from Australia to South America. Arepama, I think. I don't know, I don't speak Portuguese, so I can't pronounce that properly. Yeah. I don't know, I might not even be Portuguese. I might just be horrible at pronouncing things. Wait, wait, when you say big tooth stingray. Yeah, so this one's a big tooth and actually that black with white spots is a Leopoldi. I can tell them apart because the big tooth also has little white spots along the borders of its body. Oh. Oh, I do see the difference, okay. It's pretty dope. Uh, even though it's called a big tooth, um, like all, all other ways they can have um, uh, teeth that are flat and round, ideal for crushing the shells and keeping those teeth up. Yeah. Closest thing a year they get to a freshwater shark, huh? Actually, uh, back here with our, um, the arowanas and fiber turtles, those are uh, iridescent sharks, which are freshwater. Okay. I learned something today. Yeah, 
Nice. The dark freshwater sharks and freshwater um, uh, stingrays. Uh, see, so that's a big tooth and it's on top of a tigrina, uh, that's yeah. a yellow and brown one. Well, let's see it now. Huh. That was awesome. Violent things. So what's uh, what, what's the word on these, Emily? These uh, these these things strip a cow to the bone in like what five minutes? If they were hungry and there were enough of them, and the cow was already bleeding, otherwise they would swim away from the cow because it's a larger animal. Really? Yeah. For the most part. Piranhas are afraid of anything larger than themselves because they have so many predators. They have to worry about birds of prey, larger fish and reptiles. I don't think things, things like all piranhas. snatch them out of the Amazon River and eat them. So unless the larger animal's already dead or bleeding, they won't go after it. See, the, the way they're portrayed in the media, and generally everywhere else, they're just like violent, vicious, uh, tiny they, fish that'll swarm you and murder you. That. They don't deserve that reputation. So these guys are just peaceful, they're opportunistic, but they're peaceful in general. Yeah, they're more of a scavenger. Oh. So we feed them earthworms and small pieces of mackerel, herring, trout, and other types of fish, chicken, beef. Sometimes they also get live goldfish. Right. Uh, the smaller fish that they swim with are called buck-toothed tetra, those yeah. little gray fish with black spots. Yeah. And they can't eat those because they swim too fast. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. Wow, yeah, these guys get a bad rap for no clear and apparent reason. Yeah, they don't deserve it. Well, it, it began in 1913 when yeah. uh, President Theodore Roosevelt took a trip to the Amazon. Yeah. The people there knew that he was into adventure, so they it was all a big setup. They netted off part of the freshwater river and then caught thousands of piranhas, yeah. put them in the small area. There would never be that many piranhas in that small of an area in the wild. And then they had a female cow in heat, so actively bleeding, okay. to the water when, when he was there, and of course they just devoured it. So it was an actual government conspiracy. It was. It wow. Was. A real-life yeah. government conspiracy. All right, so for conspiracy theorists that I know, uh, I can let them know that one thing is true. Piranhas want something already dead. All right. Uh, or else like worms and other bird lights off the river bottom. Uh, they can also have small birds or mammals that fall into the water or smaller, slower-moving fish, including smaller piranhas. Okay, so they're kind of like better-natured politicians, really. Exactly. Okay. Up there. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, just a little bit. There he is right there. So rumor has it that they can toss all these fish in here with the sharks because everything gets a daily feeding and they have no strong desire to eat anything when they're not hungry. And he zips right by food. Yep, zips right by food. In relative terms, yeah. I still wouldn't be super comfortable swimming with one. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty deep. I haven't seen one yet. You know what I've always wondered? Do you think the fish care about the architecture? Shark tube. Is it a shark tube? Oh, yes, it is a shark tube. Shark. A lot of East Asian cultures are here. The lion is a big sign of uh, invincibility. What, what did we read about that? Uh, the samurai exhibit. Yeah, if you had a lion on yeah. your on your gear, then uh, or what's the Japanese word for it? Shishi. Yeah, there was also a hawk. Yeah, taka, taka. All right. There's a jellyfish cycle. Hey, you know this looks. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the House of... This is House of Blues. I guess they saw the jellyfish exhibit and said, you know what? House of Blues needs to be... Oh, babe, that's, a, that's an octopus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, parts of the octopus. Yeah. The octopus taco in Japanese, but I think that's only after it's cooked. Starfish all over the place. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
touch you see is in her legs. Her neck pulls up. Way over the way of that neck right Oh, yeah. Oh, the horseshoe crabs? So it looked like a Uh, horseshoe crabs. They can see the little legs if get closer. Oh, wow. I guess. You took off. Oh, yeah. I think that's uh, that looks like a ray too. So you can see the eye poking out. There. Yeah. And that one's albino. That one's camouflaged. See the other ones are swimming right over them, and they can't even see them. The ones, yeah. Yeah. I guess the waves are little, but they don't really care if something's oh, over. Kind of They're up to something. Oh, I want to talk about for no reason. Everything seems so alien here. Is that what it said? Oh, I do wonder what this means. Hmm. Neptune's Fury doesn't look so great, it looks like a bench. And a sign. I don't get what he's so furious about. I mean, what in space could it? Oh. Oh. There it is. That's what he means by fury. Look up top, see the mouth. Oh, good lord. Is that it? Focus back in. Wow. He looks really far away, but he's actually pretty close. Yep. Wow. There it is. Wow. There's nothing eerier than seeing a bunch of sharks floating around like this. I guess unless it was a bunch of velociraptors. I think that was only eerie. Oh, what? Hold on. Oh, I think I've seen that before. I think I, I used that in a Mandalay Bay video. Only this time it's not hey, stock footage. Getting, uh, yeah, yeah, the one on the bottom there. But you're getting a good shot with that fish. Okay. Oh, that one then? Yeah, came right by us. Oh, I didn't see that. I was watching him. Yeah. Look at him go. There's a, that's a sensory kill. It's a chainsaw. I was assuming it is. Well, I assume it's a chainsaw. You don't think it's a chainsaw? No, I think it's a sensor. I think it's a chainsaw. TMNT boys. This is the hand sound coolest part of Mandalay Bay. It must be interesting not having any natural predators. Well, they do, but there's nothing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we ought not bother him. Don't want to wake him up. Nah. Oh, it's because no one's a jackass. Oh, he's up top. See, just as I say, someone's a jackass for tapping the glass and knocking to the glass with my camera. <laughs> so shame on me for that. I apologize. The one with the chainsaws you feel is not interesting, maybe it's a different one. Uh, that's a, that one's bigger than the other ones were. A lot bigger. And I gotta identify that species too. Now, is that a tortoise? Uh, no, it's a green sea turtle. I don't know how long they live. Um, from what I understand, they actually do get pretty close to 100 yeah. in, the, in the wild. I, I knew that some species were fairly dead, though. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's a big one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it would be too. Shoot, no natural pet predators. I can swim around as quickly as I want. I'm liking this. I think it's a, I think it's a green sea turtle. It might be a leatherback, but the shell doesn't look right to be a leatherback. This is all the best parts. 
Oh, he's coming across? He's going to your head. All of them are. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even mad about foundation room anymore. Yeah. In case everyone's watching this video, foundation room sucks now, it's the same as a regular ass ultra club. Oh, I do hope he turns back around. Huh? Oh. Oh. I didn't see that roll up. Yeah, there he goes. Ooh, I wish I could identify that species. We got a good look at him. Yeah, oh, yeah, I got a lot of fangs. All the fangs. Nice, that is so cool. Oh, well, I hate to end on a bombshell, but this is true. True, definitely. Yeah, it's kind of a poignant, poignant sort of message in a place dedicated to excess, so good thing to see.